Welcome, folks. I am the appliance dude here at Curto's in Westchester County. I come to you high atop the mountain. Yes, high above Central Avenue in the appliance playground here in Curto's Appliances, the new showroom. I am standing in front of the Viking French door wall oven. Voila. Yes, we have been waiting for this bad boy for quite some time. Okay. It's really funny, by the way, as I'm doing this, I have about 50 cars outside on Central Avenue, maybe more like 20. They're all looking up at me and saying, what is this guy doing here? Again, one of the advantages of the new showroom, much, much more visibility. Um, anyway, back to the oven. So I saw this for the first time at the KBiz show in Las Vegas back in February when I was a guest of Salim's and uh, I rocked the party very hard down there. I was very impressed by it. Um, they had to make a couple of changes though before it was actually released to the public. Biggest change was the gasket, okay, this uh, thin strip, which you could ba probably barely see with the camera. I'm probably showing you a close-up photo right now. The gasket was actually on the door, okay, in the first iteration that was going to come out. They didn't like the way that it looked, okay? Um, so they held it back, made some tweaks too and what have you, and now it's good to go. The French door, okay, let's just talk about French door, just the design of them. It doesn't even necessarily have to be about ovens. Let's talk about French door refrigerators. The biggest disadvantage is the way that they close and they seal because of that gasket thing, okay? Um, one of the reasons why Sub-Zero took so long okay, for their French door refrigerator to come out. I mean, it was under like R&D for about six or seven years. And right at the height of all the French door sales that were going on, I remember it was 2006, okay? And I was out in Wisconsin, I asked one of the engineers, I said, why don't you have a French door refrigerator? Why aren't you releasing one in the next year or so? Well, because we're, we're working on it, but we're not gonna release it until we get it right, okay? And that's the sub-zero way of doing things. Well, Viking, um, well, you know, that, that wasn't their mantra back in the day, but now under the middle B command, they are totally focused on quality assurance and getting things right from a design and engineering standpoint. So they held this oven back. They wanted to make sure the seal on it was correct. Um, Cause again, a French door is a tricky, tricky animal. So they got it right. So the thing about this oven that you need to know, aside from the fact that it's sheer sexiness and uh, you know, attractiveness in the piece, what is this? Where, where, did, where did this oven come from? Okay. Um, Middleby, as you know, is a commercial holding company. They own many, many, many different commercial cooking brands. One of them is a company called Blodgett. Blodgett, as many chefs know, um, make completely kick-ass, take-no-prisoner wall ovens. And their wall ovens are based on a French door design. So, from what I understand, that this oven is actually born from the Blodgett uh, design, okay? So that's like the equivalent of one of these open burner ranges coming from the Garland. You know, the Garland is the complete, you know, uber animal of the open burner ranges. I mean, everybody who owns a Garland, my parents included, are still rocking them hard 30 years down the line. Well, the Blodgett is kind of looked upon as the Garland of wall ovens. And so this oven is born from the Blodgett, which again, is owned by Viking's parent company. So. What's so cool about this? Now, I don't have it plugged in right now, but really who cares about that? Because all it's gonna do is show blue LED lighting behind the knobs over here. We don't really care about that fluff. Um, the thing you need to know about this oven, hey, check this out. Look at the way that it closes, okay? I'm gonna show you a video soon of another French door wall oven that I have, at least for now, and the way that that closes compared to this. It's closing by itself and it's sealing. Very, very important, especially when we show you the other oven and how that one closes. What we have here, we have two, two sliding racks over here. I've got the meat probe in the back, which you can't see right now, is the largest convection fan in the business. They made it bigger and they made it better. Why did they want to do that? Because it is in their belief that that convection fan, the larger it is, the better it's going to do in stirring the air around and creating a more even uh, cooking cavity. Um, it's also a 4.7 uh, cubic foot oven, which is the largest in the industry. And of course, they have the patented Viking glass infrared broiler. Remember, Viking and Capital are the only companies that make glass infrared broilers, and they kill it when it comes to searing. Um, what else is there to talk about this oven? This is a very important point. By the way, the bottom oven is the same oven as you will see actually right over here. That is the VED-05302. That is the classic, iconic Viking double wall oven. So this oven is basically that oven, the bottom one.
One of the most important takeaways you need to know about this oven is the fact that it is only going to do self cleaning in the bottom oven, the standard pull down oven. It is not going to self clean up here. And the question is why? Well, I had a very, very involved conversation, a very deep conversation, one of the top engineers down at Viking. And it was their belief that you really can't, can't do self cleaning the way to their performance level, to their expectations in a French store oven, at least at this point. I think it has something to do with the fact that they just don't feel as if, um, I don't know if it's that the seal is not gonna be tight enough on it, but they basically just said, in this iteration, we're not confident it's gonna be pulled, pulled off. And to their credit, I mean, that's, that's fantastic because they didn't try to shove something in there that wasn't going to meet their expectations. Now, here's the interesting point. GE Monogram has a single French door oven that's actually going to be released this fall. So we're just a matter of months away from that. You may have actually seen the picture on my blog. That oven is going to offer self-cleaning. It's a French door single. So let's see how they pull it off um, because it's obviously contrary to what Viking's saying. Um, but, uh, you know, again, you have to raise your, tip your cap to Viking, what they've done with this piece. It was introduced earlier in the year. They pretty much met their release date Again, slightly delayed because of the whole thing with the gasket, but the folks who have been coming into the new showroom checking it out are absolutely floored by it. We have a couple of orders placed against it already. Um, uh, the thing just absolutely just smells and speaks and looks of quality, okay? And uh, it's an absolute premium piece, premium wall oven. And of course, with this, you get that Viking three-year warranty. You get that 90-day no quibble policy, one service call in the first 90 days. They'll take it out. Well, if there's any questions, this is a beautiful piece. I say, please come visit us here. High at Top Central Avenue. We're only minutes away from Manhattan, Fairfield County, George Washington Bridge, all up at Westchester. Come in and see us, speak to the appliance dude. Okay, thank you very much. We will talk soon.